Well, the old adage, winning the battle but losing the war, is a warning to those involved in a struggle that it, it's important to keep one's eye on what you're fighting for. You often see this principle at work in amateur sports where a player will lose control and strike out in revenge against an opponent who is provoking him in some way. The momentary satisfaction is lost when the referee penalizes the team, which usually leads to losing the game, the very thing the contest was all about in the first place. Well, the Apostle Peter talks about this idea when he teaches us how to deal with the provocations of Satan. The devil's attacks can be in the physical, emotional, financial, or spiritual areas of our lives. When we are the target of Satan's schemes, Peter says that we should stand firm, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 9. Uh, we should do this because regardless of the nature of his attack, the true purpose is always the same, to destroy our faith in Jesus Christ. Now, we sometimes think that the war is over our health or our family, success at work, but these are only the battlegrounds. The real war is not about keeping or losing these things, it's about remaining faithful to the Lord despite the problems that you face. This is always what the war is about, regardless of what battle you are fighting. So let's remember that if we stand firm in our faith, we will have won the war even if we lose the occasional battle. Well, I'm Mike Mazzalongo, and you have been watching the Bible Talk video blog. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.